Okay, good afternoon. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I'm here to talk about uh, Korean OBIS uh, node and, and the OBIS system in general. Um, the OBIS is the Ocean Biogeographic Information System, which is one of the legacies of the uh, Census of Marine Life project, which, which was a, a very large a worldwide project for 10 years of duration that finished in 2010. And the main objective of this uh, OBIS system is to collect and to distribute uh, worldwide georeference uh, biodiversity records. So after the census ends in 2010, it was adopted by the IOC, and now uh, holds uh, at uh, this month, August 2014, more than 40 million records of marine species from 145,000 species of uh, and gathered from 1,600 data sets around the world. Um, since uh, 2010, the structure of the OBIS system has changed, and now we have a tier structure organization with three levels. So the tier one level is uh, uh, the main OBIS system, tier two are regional nodes or uh, main data providers, and tier three are data providers at local level or, or regional level. Uh, one of the uh, main characteristics is that the system is completely open access, so everyone can, uh, everybody can download every data of every register that is in, in OBIS at the moment uh, using a very friendly web platform which provides you a mapping interface and also a summary, map summaries of biodiversity and, and other, other aspects of marine biodiversity. Uh, for the Caribbean, um, OBIS actually hold um, almost 400,000 records uh, of uh, uh, 13,000 taxa, which is uh, almost all the, the marine species reported for the Caribbean, from uh, 119 databases uh, for the Caribbean. Uh, also, the, uh, always can provide oceanographic data, in addition to the taxonomic information, we can provide oceanographic data, temperature, salinity, uh, nutrients, depth, uh, which this data is gathered from other databases. And also, we have some layers uh, uh, which you can interact to uh, make complex searches uh, of the data. For example, you can see in the, in the upper left corner all the records we have for the Caribbean, the yellow points around the Caribbean. Um, we can, for example, uh, provide summaries of biodiversity, different biodiversity indice, indices, indices, or, for example, species in marine protected areas or threatened species, etc. Uh, at this stage, uh, the uh, OBIS system only provides uh, sea turtle nesting sites from the, our partner OBC map system. And uh, if you go to the, uh, for actually the current application of the Korean Mar Marine Atlas, you can see uh, the nesting sites which are provided by the OBIS uh, server uh, uh, of the nesting sites. Uh, we can also develop some interesting uh, uh, product to product or, or case studies, for example, the invasion of uh, lionfish in the Caribbean or um, any species we can uh, map through the region. Uh, one interesting thing is always follows the IOC data policy, so um, they, they provide unrestricted access of all the data that always, always uh, uh, produce, uh, but anyway, without any limit. Uh, always um, relies mostly on external databases, so uh, we have agreement with data providers and always distribute the data, and the data provider keeps always the, the property of the data. So if you provide data to always, you will always be the, the owner of the data. Uh, in the Caribbean, there is a, a tier two uh, uh, OBIS node, which is Caribbean OBIS. Um, we try to connect the local data providers and also provide guidance on best practices and in biodiversity data management, quality control, and data sharing. So one of the best thing, things that OBIS has is uh, they have uh, implemented a very strict quality control procedures and protocols. Also, there are several web uh, applications to provide uh, data providers uh, to a very strict uh, quality control of the uh, taxonomic uh, databases, or data, uh, taxonomic data. Um, for the next, uh, uh, for the collaborative activity uh, to the uh, CMA2, uh, always holds around 200 databases. Uh, we think there is uh, the largest database of marine biodiversity for the Caribbean. And we think also that new databases could be acquired. There is a lot of information on biodiversity, which is not in office at the moment. Small databases from different countries uh, and research centers and universities that could be incorporated to the, uh, to the Korean uh, OBIS node. 
Obviously, also can provide regional training uh, regarding to quality control of the data from these uh, data providers. And as uh, always, holds this uh, large, I think this is the largest amount of database from georeferences geo record from the biodiversity of the Caribbean. Um, we think that there always could be the data provider for the next CME project. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lorna. Any questions?